Welcome back everyone to One and Gymnasium on the campus of Sidwell Friends School. As we get ready to begin season six of the District of Columbia Hockey League. In the middle you see the referee and Commissioner Sidir Chand. Our first game was between the defending champion gold and one of the four new teams this season, Funkmaster Redux. On the floor to start, you have Nick, Simon, Keith, and Mora for Funkmaster. You have Etienne, Angelo, Justin, and Molly for gold. Ball into the middle. Etienne's going to get the first shot of the new season. That's a save by Paul the goalie. In the corner now. Simon fighting for it. Gets Etienne, Etienne, and Angelo. That one appears to have been saved. First two shots to gold. Justin now behind the net. Roger, the goalie, considered one of the stars of the league. He's going to be the challenge for them to beat. Captain Keith now for Funkmaster Redux, trying to bring it across. Has it stolen by Angelo. Here comes his shot, and it's in. First goal of the season, Angelo unassisted. Goal comes at 47 seconds of the new season. It is 1-0. Shots in the period stayed at 3-0 to gold. And face-off appears to be won by gold. Amy's going to head back and try and get it. Uh, Nick putting some pressure on. Amy bringing it around the net. Double team now. Nick and Keith. Get it through. Keith now runs into trouble. Ball comes around to where I'm standing, unfortunately. Pat now plays up to Tony. This goes behind the bench. You see members of the uh, original Triple Deeks watching along. Pat with a long shot, that one goes wide. Angelo the follow, and a save by Paul. This one in front, that's a shot by David, that's blocked. Follow up by Tony, and it's too weak. Back to the corner to Amy, that shot is wide. Already five shots for gold to zero for the front pass to Long clearance by Keith as he tries to get it around, but Amy is right there. Amy and Keith now battling for it behind the net. Amy trying to bring it up. We have two minutes into the game here. Stolen by Nick, that's a shot to save. Rebound, that's gonna be covered by Ryan. No, he doesn't know where it is, and Amy has to clear it. Now Simon in the corner, shot's now 5-2. And if you're wondering why I'm calling him out lots, because there's a goal! Pat on shot number six, gets it from Tony. It is 2-0. The reason I'm counting all the shots out loud is because it's a new stat this season, and uh, I'm normally stat man, so now I have to do two things at once. So, goal from Pat, goal from Angelo, and we are ready to continue. One by the Punk Master Redux, and it's a spin move coming in by Jason, attempting to get around. Angelo has it, he brings it around, is being guarded closely by Jason. Now Etienne bringing it up, tries to get it around Keith. Dan playing it in the corner. Now Etienne from under the bench gets it a long way to Molly. Molly has her shot stuffed by Jason, keeps it in the field of play. Once again, goes back Julie with a clear. Now a high shot and goal is gonna have to reset, they do. Angelo now looking for Etienne on the rebound, cannot get it to him. Oh, we got a high stick coming up here. And the call is gonna be made against Lewis for high sticking. First power play of the game. Already 2-0 in favor of gold. Lewis. All right, time of the penalty officially 3.15. It will be Simon, Jason, and, and Kane trying to control. You know what, and over all these names, and Shannon, excuse me. On the other side, we already have two shots now. There's a third, and that goes in. That's in with a goal on the power play. Angelo, Etienne, Justin, Molly convert on the power play. It is 3-0. We're not even four minutes into the game. Shots 9-2. Now in front, brought back to Bonzano. Amy Bonzano clears it up court. David is there. David tries to play it around, can't do so. Now Tony with a try. He is being guarded closely by Neil. Oh, an attempt at a shot that is wide, not an official shot. Up to Shannon. Pat with an attempt. That one is saved by Paul. That is already shot number 10. We're not even five minutes into the game. We have another penalty coming up here, and it will be again on the Funk Masters. This one is being called, it looks like, on. Looks like it is on Shannon. Penalty expires at 8.15. 
Call made at 445. Gold already one for one. Here comes another shot. That one is blocked. And oh, Funkmaster broke too soon. Lars is considered an offside position. Back to Neil. Only kill's gonna continue. I'm not sure they're even aware that they're offside yet. They continue playing. Finally, they get the message, they're coming back. It is long to Tony. Shots 11 to two already. Big block coming up. Now into the corner. This one is cleared uh, rather unsuccessfully. Now Keith playing it and gets it clean. Very well done. Substitutions being made by Gold. As they continue on the power play, we have nine minutes, 30 seconds left. It's already 3-0. Keith keeps it in, tries to play it up to his two men, cannot do so. Uh, Lars now just controlling it in the corner. And it's cleared out by Justin, he's looking for the man. Tony puts on the brakes, he's considered onside. Angelo with the pass, the shot, that's safe. I'm sorry, it was David with the pass. Tony the save, Tony the shot, Paul the save. Now played in front, here's another shot. That one's unable to get anywhere. Now Nick kicks it out of the zone, but Justin Keith is into the offensive area. Molly playing in fourth. He's got Tony. There's a shot. There's a save by Paul. He's on it. Wow. Shots up to 13 to two now in this game, in this period. Bentley on Shannon continues. This one is cleared out by the Punk Masters. Roger getting his first touch on the ball uh, in a long time. Now Molly's trying to bring it out. Cannot do so, it's controlled by Nick in the corner. Nick looking for a teammate, can't find one to get to Justin. Justin tries to find, no, instead of Angela, it's at the end. In the middle, uh, wait a minute, is the penalty over yet? It must be, uh, no call has been made. And uh, apparently, nobody noticed, but I, I think they got the time confused. Uh, pass back to Justin. Uh, this probably ends with no, no goal. Angelo controls in the corner. Angelo, the defending MVP of this league, being guarded by Mara. Angelo puts on the brakes and tries for the spin move. Looking for an open man. Gets around Keith. Now in front, cleared out by Nick. This one's coming this way. It's going to be Justin getting to the ball first. And he keeps it in. Now Keith from behind playing it up. Clears it all the way down the floor. The bouncer gets to Nick. No, sorry, gets to Jason first to Nick in the middle. He can't get the shot off though. Now Pat plays it. We're looking and uh, we have uh, an issue here. Molly cannot continue. Uh, tweaked her knee apparently, so she is going to be replaced temporarily. Full shift being made by both teams. It is 3-0 goal. Seven minutes remain in the first period. Uh, let's see what the call is. It's going to be brought back to the center. Both teams are ready. It is and Simon Lewis Mara for the Funk Masters. It is Pat, Tony, David, and Amy for gold. Tony with the corner guarded by Simon. Passes it up to the middle. There's Amy. Can Amy keep it in? Does. Goes for the shot. That is one. Follow up. That goes nowhere. Now in front. There's a save by Paul. And he's going to fall on the rebound before anything happens and get a quick stop. The 14th shot of the first period so far to two for the Punk Masters. Definitely one sided play so far as the expanded team gets a really nasty draw for their first game. The defending champions. Back to Pat. He's going to shoot. That one is blocked by Dan. Now into the front. This one is played back to Paul. He's able to make clearance. Tony going for the wraparound. Can't find anyone. Back to Amy. Amy keeps it in. Simon tries to clear it. Instead, it's Pat for the shot. Save Paul. You're down to the left. 5.48, means 3-0. Mara tries to play it up, looking for his, looking for his teammate. Dan now gets it, but it's only as far as David. Back in by Simon, but the ball crossed the back red, so Good. Masters forced to reset, they do so. Uh, David takes it away from Mara, and the confusion up to Tony in front, there's a shot to go! Tony from David gets it to 4-0. Six 
to eat shots too. And with that, we have five minutes, 15 seconds left in the first period. That is the fourth goal for the defending champion, Gold, against Funkmaster Redux. 4-0 right now is Justin playing up to Etienne, trying to get that fifth goal. They are merciless when they get the lead. Neil looking for Nick. It's a long play. Uh, can't really call that a save, unfortunately, but it was a play by Roger. Now Amy battling forward in the corner with Lars. That's a tie-up, and we're going to have a face-off. Face off now with four minutes, 35 seconds left in the period. It will be Lars and Angelo taking the face off. One by Funkmaster, back to Neil. Neil tries to play forward, loses control of it. Angelo's able to get it back. Chaos in the middle, Etienne with a shot saved by Paul. He clears it away. Now Neil Monk for Schmoser with it. He and Nick are related, father and son, I've been told. Lars back the other way, gets around Molly. Has it in the side, looking for Justin, can't get it around. Back the other way, Angelo. Angelo's only got Jessica to beat. Takes a long shot, that one goes nowhere. Back the other way, Lars with quick control, but Justin grabs it out of the air, that's a perfectly legal play. Now, oh, a long high stick, and it looks like Neil is going to go to the box. Uh, I don't think Neil's even aware he did it, but uh, video evidence is not going to lie, that one was over his head. A little confusion here. Uh, remember, in this league, since nobody's wearing pads, it is a very strict high sticking rule. The third power play now for gold. They are one for two. Plays it back to Pat. Pat trying to look forward. It's tied up by Keith instead in the corner. Angelo. Shot 16 to two, still in favor of gold. Back to Pat. He's going to take a shot. No, that one's wide. Follow up is in. Angelo uh, snuck it. Paul didn't even see where it was. Angelo from Pat. Make it 5 0 on the 17th shot of the period. This is a lopsided first period if ever there was one. Gold now 2 of 3 on the power play. This one goes high into the air. Who's going to get there first? Tony tries to play it forward, but it's cleared away by Lewis. Only has, now Simon trying to get around Amy. Looks for some help. Can't get it. It's David back the other way. Gets it through the corners, and it's in the net. Tony able to tip it in. Uh, gets it from David. Two consecutive shots go in. 6-0 now. This has been a very rough start for the Funk Masters. But uh, again, a rough assignment. Hard to say that they didn't that uh, they had it. That they were anything but a long underdog. He's now trying to grab this one out of the air. That's it down. We're at 2:15 left. Uh, it's a big swing over her head, and Julie's going to be going to the penalty box. So the high sticking rule is the one that uh, rookie teams have the most trouble adjusting to, uh, especially since you know it, it's your instinct to go after the ball with your stick. <laughs> This penalty will carry us out through the rest of the period. It's Angelo and Keith taking a face off one by Gold. Pat's going to shoot that one. His block rebound is saved. Etienne trying to get it out, cannot do so. In the corner. Plays it back to Pat. Pat over to Angelo. Bench trying to get their penalty kill organized. And it's cleared by Jason into the back. We have 137 left in the first period here. It is 6-0. Gold has reset. Now Pat has some room. He's going to wait. He's going to pass it back to Angelo. They're going to go for the point shot. No, wait. Angelo bringing it forward, looking for Etienne. Etienne controls. That shot is blocked. His follow-up is batted behind by Paul. Before he can get the shot up, this one goes in front. Nothing to worry about. Jason now bringing it back the other way. Gets it across the line. Now a dangerous play there, but it's cleared far enough. Good. Keith loses to Etienne. Etienne was onside as well to not cross the back red. Eddie in plays it around, trying to get somewhere, but Simon clears it away into the net. Uh, he'll get a free drop out of the net now. Quick change of line as Simon very wisely throws us back to center. Where Molly is waiting. We are under one minute left in the first period of what has been an adventure. Now Angelo plays it over to Molly. That one is tipped in front off the net and in. I don't know who's going to get credit for that one. Uh, did it hit Etienne? I'm not quite sure, but Molly took the initial shot. Etienne says he did deflect it, so he'll get credit for Molly. Gold 3 of 4 on the power play already, and it is 7-0. Plays way back. Justin able to keep his stick just barely down enough. Plays it up to Tony. Tony trying to get around Shannon. 
That's some trouble getting through. Looking in the front. That one nearly tips it on its own. Simon, with 10 seconds left, brings it across the reset line. Rogers shoves it away. Shots were 20 to 2 in favor of gold here in the first period. The score is 7 0. 